Welcome back students taking math for business and finance and math applications. Um, this set of videos are for the chapter 14 summary practice test and I'll just jump right in and get to it. Okay. If I can get my digital tablet to work and get the pen. All right so let's see here. Okay, number one, Walter Lance buys a Volvo SUV for $42,500 Walter made a down payment of 16000 and paid 510 monthly for 60 months. What are the total amount financed and the total finance charge that Walter paid at the end of the 60 months? So the purchase price here is 42500 and he puts a down payment of 16000 So... Six, three. So he's financing twenty six five. Okay. Now the um, the so that's the total amount financed, and so we want to know what the total finance charge is. Well, the finance charge is the difference between the total he has to pay um, less the amount that's financed. So in order to know how much he paid, um, he's five hundred and ten dollars for sixty months. At 006, so he, um, the amount he has to pay uh, is thirty thousand six hundred dollars, and the amount financed was twenty six five. So one four. Oops, sorry. Nope. So it's uh, the amount of the finance charge is uh, four thousand one hundred dollars. Okay. Number two, right. Joyce Mesnick bought an HP laptop computer at Staples for $699. Joyce made a $100 down payment and financed the balance at 10% for 12 months. What is her monthly payment? Use the loan amortization table. Okay, so if she buys a computer at $699 and a $100 down payment, right? That means she's financing $599. And if we use the loan amortization table, which is table number 14.2. Okay, so that's 14.2 uh, is that table. And remember, that's um, that table is in thousands of dollars. So that means we have to take the 599 and divide it by 1,000, okay? And we get 0 0.599. And then we um, cross-reference on the table. We are going to cross-reference the 10% uh, for 12 months. Okay, so remember on the table, where's my, all right, there it is. So when we're looking at the table, you have your interest rates across the top, okay, and then down the sign is, down the side is the number of uh, payments, right? So in this case here, we have 10% for 12 months, so we look for the 10% across the top, 12 payments down the side. When we cross-reference it, right, whatever that number is, right, and that number happens to be 8792. So whatever that cross reference is, we multiply it, take that reference and multiply the 0 0.599 by the 8792, and that gives us a monthly payment of $52.66. Simple as that. Three, the Remick uh, read the following partial advertisement. Okay, so the purchase price is twenty-two five, and the down payment is a thousand, and it's three ninety-nine per month for sixty months. So that's the payment for that many months. Calculate a the total finance charge. So remember to get the finance charge, we have to um, calculate the total uh, that we're going to pay, including the finance charge, less 
how much we're borrowing. So um, the advertised price is 22.5, and we're putting $1,000 down. So that means we're financing 20, uh, 21.5. Okay, and we need to now calculate how much we're going to pay in total. Right? And we do that by knowing that we have $399.99 for 60 months. So we multiply those. That gives me 4999 three two so that gives me uh, so we're going to pay in total twenty three thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars and forty cents and so we take and we subtract the difference between the two so twenty one five from that means our finance charge is forty nine nine four two thousand four hundred ninety nine dollars and forty cents okay so that's our finance charge that's a Okay, so B, by the lookup table, all right, I'm going to write A up here. I'll pause the video and copy that all down because I'm going to erase this. So for A, we had $24.99.40, and the amount that we financed was $21.5. Right. So for B, we want to know what the APR is using table 14.1 or use the table in the business math handbook um, and we're rounding to the nearest hundredth of percent so um, we know our finance charge is 24.9940 and we're dividing that by the amount we uh, borrowed 21.5 and since that table is in a hundred dollar increments we have to multiply that by a hundred and that gives us 11.63 so in this case here, if you try to look this here figure up in the 1163 up in the table in the textbook, you're not going to find it. So you have to use the business math handbook. When you go to the business math handbook, you look under the, you look at the cover, and you look at the table of contents where it says APR, and that's going to tell you that on pages 38 to like 42, I believe, are the APR tables. So flip open to page 38. Okay. And when you go to page 38, you're going to look down the side because those are the payments. And when you get to uh, 60 for 60 months, okay, then you're going to look across the row until you come to um, the $11.63. Uh, right? Now, most oftentimes, that's going to be in between two columns okay um, and when you find uh, you know in between those two columns so and I don't know what the number is here but I'm just gonna make something up here because I'm not looking at the chart but let's just say this happened to be 11 and this happened to be 12 okay now I know that's not the right numbers so don't take it as gospel look at the chart and you'll find you know the two figures that uh, 1163 falls in between well look up the columns until you get to the top and you'll find that that 1163 falls between four and a quarter percent and four and a half percent so um, the APR right um, falls between four and a quarter and four and a half and that's how you find it by using the table okay so let's see that's three okay so four and five All right so I'm gonna stop and we'll pick up in the next video